Okay, this is a story, ladies and gentlemen, but when I was supposed to be a card girl in Drama and Bahama. If you look up on the internet, Drama in Bahama was dubbed the name of when um, the greatest. He played, he was boxing in the Bahamas. That's where he retired. Mahama Ali. Yeah, and I was a Miss Grandstown, and of course, like I tell people, I was up in everything. I had people who looked for me to make sure I was a part of things that happened. And so, being from a poor home, they were opportunities. They weren't opportunities because you want to expose your body or whatever people might think. They were opportunities of making money legitimate money so being a card girl because i've already been on stage over and over i was a miss grandstown okay and so a card girl will wear you of course you wear a bikini on stage but then you had to wear a bikini when you were in the contest you know you had to wear a bikini in Miss Bahamas, Miss Universe. So, you know, you are going to be a card girl, meaning that for each round they have, you know, the card to say round one, and then you'll walk around the stage because you have a beautiful body. Yes. Yes, I'm older now. Got to lose some pound of lazy. Okay. That could work, could work on that. It's still beautiful. Just only have a little more extra. But um, that's what a card girl is. I decided not to because it was round closer to the Christmas time and that type of round it was cold and I was cold and I said I don't want to be a card girl and it's going to be um, cold that night and it's out in the open I said I'll if they could make me be an usher I'll prefer that so because I was supposed to be the number one card girl they end up putting me as the number one usher so that means I was ushering for the I think it was $25,000 seats yes they had seats that cost just to sit in one seat was $25,000 yes and that's where I ushered they were the front 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 seats yes and yes I had a lot of people sitting in there I, I had some Texas Tycoon Earl Tycoons they fly in like 10 and 12 of them. They fly to the Bahamas for this because this was his retirement fight. Bahama Ali retirement fight. And yes, I was L. Russell at the time. Knowles now, being a widow. I was a usher at Drama and Bahama. And yes, I was underage, but I had a chaperone by the name of Valdrina Brooks. She was my chaperone, paid by Mr. Sharrick Morris and the constituents. And I had a driver. A driver at the time when used to go places like that was Trevor Wiley. Yeah, the um, former senator, the Honorable Trevor Wiley. He was our driver at the time, yes, for Drama and Bahama. For that occasion, I always had a driver for any for different things and every, different occasions. I was always well protected, always chaperoned by Valdrina Brooks back then. Okay, and I thank God I, I had the opportunity to meet her right up to the last, right up to the last, and to keep in contact with her right up to the last. And she was able to, to see that I got married. She was able to see my baby. She was able to hold my baby. And all of those beautiful things, you know, we became close and whatnot and whatnot, you know. So, yes, that's another little story. That's why I said I was very much involved. Very much involved. And it was clean, fun. We didn't have people praying on you. We didn't have no one praying on you. The people that I was around protected me. I never had nobody disrespect me. Never had nobody prayed on me. Everyone who was around me at that time 
or respectable of me. Okay? And I thank God for it. So, yes, I was a part of drama and Bahama. Yes, and I did watch drama in Bahama as well. It gave me a front row seat, even though I was an usher, to be able to see the fight. Hello, somebody. That's my take on that, over and out. And that's the reason why I'm telling my stories. Because I was there, over and out.